If your primary sources for Aquaman knowledge are Robot Chicken and Entourage, then you may not know about Mera. But for over 50 years, his red-haired love interest has been by his side more consistently than a Robin alongside Batman. Aquaman's love interest, girlfriend, betrothed, or wife, depending on the story, Mera has always been... So, hey, um, sorry to interrupt, just want to say, video's great, doing a great job, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Mira? L let me check. I am Mira. 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 I'm Mira. Yep. Yep, definitely, definitely pronounced Mira. So, you know, carry on. <laughs> Depending on the story, Mira has always been unmistakable in her skin-tight suit of green scales when she's bothering to wear anything at all. Mera's first appearance was in 1962 in Aquaman number 11. Aquaman and Aqualad came across a mysterious woman swimming faster than humanly possible then flying in air. She explains that she was the queen of a water world in another dimension and that she narrowly escaped an attack on her kingdom through a dimension warp. Aquaman helps Mera restore her powers and throne and a lifelong love connection is made. More recent continuity reveals her origins to be a little more sinister. She's actually a princess from an extra-dimensional penal colony named Zebel, which was the name of the portal scientist in the original appearance in the Bermuda Triangle, a kind of Australia for Atlanteans. Mera and her sister Siren were trained from birth by their father to be his instrument of revenge against Atlantis. Her meeting with Aquaman was not a coincidence, but an assassination mission. Mera really did fall in love with Arthur, and she turned her back on her family and heritage. She kept all this a secret for many years. In one history, Aquaman and Mera had a son named Arthur Curry Jr., better known as Aqua Baby. But Black Manta kidnaps and poisons the child. Mera returns to her dimension in a frenzy, battling old enemies for technology that she thinks will heal her son. She's too late to save him, which causes her a mental break that alienates Aquaman. Like all Atlantean descendants, Mera is adapted to live and breathe underwater. She has super strength and swimming speeds, and her father trained her to be an elite assassin. Where she shines, however, is hydrokinesis, her ability to control water and bend it to her will. Anything from holding back tidal waves to forming water into hard shapes, using it to transport, and even deadly manipulation of the water in human bodies. Through all of Aquaman's trials and periods of self-doubt, Mera's love and loyalty for him has never wavered. She is his biggest fan, supporter, and ultimate partner. She even puts up with being called Aqua Woman, a title she loathes. As Aquaman's literal better half, Mera found her way to almost every media adaptation her husband did, starting with the campy Superman Aquaman hour of the 1960s, where her origin was simplified to that of an Atlantean woman. Her Zebelian roots and water control powers were ignored in multiple appearances in Justice League, Young Justice, and Batman Brave and the Bold. Mera has even appeared once in live action, in the final season of Smallville as the sultry wife of Aquaman, who liked to belittle Lois for being a mere mortal. They all became super friends in the end. We've seen enough of Jason Momoa's Aquaman to know that he's going to be strong, silent, and confident, at least on the outside. So the addition of Amber Heard, of Zombieland and Danish Girl fame, in the upcoming Justice League and Aquaman films may bring an all new Mera as well. Perhaps she will play the soft warrior who owns the heart of the beast, much like Daenerys was to Momoa's Drogo in Game of Thrones. Whatever her characterization, we've heard that those green scales are definitely happening. If you want to know more, go ahead and click on the name of any of these characters who are going to appear in the upcoming Justice League and Aquaman movies. Learn all about them now, because you can't say it was better in the comics unless you know what happened in the comics. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know by clicking that like button just down there, and make sure you hit subscribe so you can learn the origins and backgrounds of characters for all the upcoming DC and Marvel movies. And, if there's a comic character you'd like to know the history of, just mention them in the comments, or hit us up on Twitter and let us know, and we'll probably get to it eventually.